Hi and welcome to our video on algebra and factorising algebraic expressions. Our learning intentions of this video, by the end of this video you should be able to understand the difference between expanded form and factorised form. So we're going to look at those different forms of the expressions and we should be able to factorise algebraic expressions by finding the highest common factor of these terms and then putting it into factorised form. Alright, so just going back to what we've seen already in when we did expanding, we saw that the distributive law states that when we multiply a term outside the brackets by two terms inside the bracket, in this example A bracket B plus C, we get this, uh, our result is AB plus AC. Now if we have a look at the two, the two types of um, expressions there, what we actually say is the one on the left is actually factorised form. So with the brackets we call that factorised form. And what it is is that you've got a factor outside and we multiply it by some, um, some other factors on the inside. And then we've got expanded form where we actually expand that out. So what we've done in the past is we've gone from here to here already. And now what we're going to do we're actually going to come back the other way. So effectively, when we're factorising, we're actually doing the opposite of expanding. So we're actually going to be, uh, I'm going to go through some steps on how to do that. But if we have a look at what the formula now looks like, as you can see now that it's, it's AB plus AC, we're going to break that back into this bra A bracket B plus C. Now just, just understanding when we're actually, um, when we're simplifying any expressions, we if it does end up in an expanded form, we can actually find the factorised form of that if need be in the question. So the question might ask um, expand and simplify into factorised form. So you might do some expanding here and then you'll be able to factorise the final answer into its simplest form in factorised form. So um, just keep that in mind for if we're doing some longer questions. Right, these are the steps that I think are really, really easy to follow for doing that. And I'll go through these steps in the example. You can actually skip some of these steps um, when you get more comfortable, whereas you don't need to write down the list of factors like I'm going to do. You might be able to identify them straight away. But one of the things that I want to do is go through this step by step to help you through. So the first thing we're going to do is when we're factorising into factorised form, we're actually going to, first of all, of the terms in the expression, we're going to find the highest common factor, and then we're going to find what their factor pairs are, so the number that multiplies um, by that highest common factor to get the term. We're then going to take that highest common factor and we're going to bring it outside the bracket. So like we saw, like you can see down here, um, we're bringing the highest common factor outside the brackets. And then we're going to write those other terms um, of the factor pairs inside the brackets and we're going to make sure we include the sign and the little little uh, statement or question in blue there is what term do we need to multiply the highest common factor by to get our original term they're the numbers that go inside the brackets now a little rule of thumb as you can see down here there's a little rule of thumb that you can see oops um, that if we have a, in a form of a b plus a c you notice that it's A and in brackets B plus C. You see here if we have the form AB minus AC, because we've got a positive um, and we end up with a negative answer, our, our term inside the bracket needs to, be, needs to be a negative. So just keep that little rule of thumb in mind that if you see AB plus AC, it's going to be a, pod, a plus sign in the middle of the bracket. If you see a minus sign in the expression, more often than not, that's going to be a minus sign inside the bracket. Okay, let's have a look at some examples now with what we need to do. Okay, 3a plus 12. All right, so first of all, we're going to find the highest common factor of the term. So 3a and 12. So if we have a look at the common factors, we've got 1 and 3. And we've also got the a there. And then for 12, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. All right, so for these two, the highest common factor equals, we've got 3. So the highest common factor here is 3. Now the 3, what we're going to do is we're going to bring that outside the bracket. So if we come over here, 
This is going to equal 3, and we're going to put the brackets there. Now what we need to do is we need to find out what the factor pair is for each of those numbers. So let's have a look at 3. Well, what do we multiply 3 by to get 3a? We multiply it by a. What do we multiply 3 by to get 12? Well, we multiply that by 4, or in this case, plus 4. So what we're now going to do is we're now going to put these two terms into the brackets. So 3 multiplied by a, and then we've got 3 multiplied by plus 4 to make 12. So you can see how factorised form there is 3 brackets a plus 4. And you can always check by multiplying it out and seeing if you get your, your answer back. So 3a, 3 times a is 3a, 3 times plus 4 is plus 12, you get 3a plus 12. All right, let's go through the next example. All right, so we've got 10a minus 15. So I'll just do the, the list of factors. And we've got minus 15 here. So we've actually got 1, 2, 5, and 10, and a over there. And then here we've got 1, 3, 5, and 15. But because it's a negative, we actually need to include the negative factors. And they're just the same numbers. Minus, oops, minus 15 there. Okay, so that's what's the highest common factor. Well, the highest common factor equals, in those, uh, we can see 5 and 5. So the highest common factor equals 5. So what we now do, we're going to now come over to here. And we're going to bring the 5 outside the bracket. And now what we need to determine is, what is what do we multiply 5 by to get 2a? So what's the, fact, the other term in the factor pair for, for 10a? Well, we can see that we multiply 5 by 2 to get 10, but we also need to multiply by the a to get 10a. So in actual fact, it's 2a. So we'll bring 2a over here. And what do we multiply 5 by to get minus 15? Well, we actually multiply 5 by minus 3. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the minus 3, including the sign over here, 2a minus 3. So if we have a look at this, our final answer here is 5 brackets 2a minus 3. And once again, you can multiply those out to check that, and you can you can do that to see if, if, if that's correct. All right, the next one we've got here is x squared plus 8x. So same thing, what we're going to do is we're going to put our two, um, our two terms there, and we're going to work out what the factors are. Well, x squared, what are the factors of x squared? Well, basically we've got um, 1 and x squared, and we've also got x, which multiplies by x to get an x squared. So 1, x squared, and x are basically the, um, the factors. And for 8x, we've got 1, 2, 4, and 8, and we've also got x as a factor there, so 8x. Now, if we have a look, what are the common factors? Well, um, well 1 is a common factor, that is. 1 and 1, and we've also got x and x. So effectively, the highest common factor equals 1x. Well, we don't actually write 1x like that, do we? It actually just equals x. So we can bring the x over here. So this equals x outside the brackets. And then inside the brackets, you can see, well, what do we multiply x by to get x squared? Okay, well, we actually multiply x by itself to get x squared. So we're going to put the x in the bracket there. And what do we multiply x by to get 8x? Well, we actually multiply that by 8. And don't forget, that's a plus 8. So we're actually going to put plus 8 in there. So our final uh, factorised uh, factorized form there is x bracket x plus 8. All right, and our final example here is that we're going to see, so first of all, what's the highest common factor? So we've got 6ab and we've got 8b squared. So what are the numbers that multiply? For, let's look at the numbers. So we've got 1, 2, 3, and 6 for 6ab. And then we've also got ab, because we've actually got the, the two terms together. We've also got a by itself or b by itself as the, the factors of ab. Now for 8b squared, we've got 1, 2, 4, and 8. We've also got 
b squared and we've also got b as a factor because b times b is a factor. So now let's have a look what's our highest common factor. Well we can see that across the two we've got 2 is the highest common factor and if we have a look down the um, down the list of pronumerals you can actually see that the common factor there is actually b. So outside here we'll actually write 2b. Now what do we multiply 2b, so our highest common factor, sorry, equals 2b. Now what do we multiply 2b to get 6ab? Well we multiply 2 by 3 to get 6 and we've got b and we also need a in there so we multiply 2b by 3a to get 6ab and on the other side we've got 2b well what, what do we multiply 2b by to get 8b squared well to get 8 we get 2 times 4 and then to go from b to b squared we actually have to multiply by b as well so we actually 4b is the um is the factor pair for, for 2b here and we can see that it's a plus because we've got that plus on there so it's plus 4b so the factorized form there is 2b is the highest common factor brackets 3a plus 4b well that's it for factorization hopefully you got something out of that video and we'll see you in the next video